And with the latest earthquake being felt across multiple counties, what's being done to make sure that drivers are safe and notified about the next one? KIO's Carl Cook joins us live now from Salinas, where he spoke to officials about what people can expect and what resources are available. Carl. And if this recent earthquake didn't cause any significant damage to the surrounding area, like at bridges or overpasses, in fact, the magnitude that was documented for this recent earthquake is actually common. Tuesday's 4.4 magnitude earthquake saw minor damage like you see here at a Dollar General in Hollister. Luckily, no major reports of damage came in regarding homes, businesses, or roads. The USGS says this type of quake is typical. These sorts of earthquakes are pretty common, um, and in fact, they can produce strong shaking. So the thing that's important to understand about earthquake magnitude is it is not how much shaking the earthquake produces, it is the literal size of the earthquake. A quake of this magnitude brought some concern to local bridges just based on how it fell, but not for Caltrans, who says they didn't feel the need to inspect infrastructure after the quake. They explained the reasoning, saying in part, quote, yesterday's earthquake did not go above our threshold of 5.5 to trigger active inspections of our structures. Completed structures are typically unaffected by minor earthquakes such as yesterday's, end quote. Now, if you want to know when shaking from an earthquake is about to happen, there are apps for that. Things like the MyShake app will send you a notification and provide information when shaking from an earthquake is about to happen. Now, the USGS says this is accurate considering they are the ones providing that information. That project will send an alert to the uh, wireless emergency alert system. That's the same way that you get Amber alerts or, you know, flash flood alerts or anything else um, in the event that the shaking will be life-threatening. If these earthquakes are life-threatening, they'll send out an alert, even if you don't have an app. The US Geological Survey will trigger an alert if you are in danger from earthquake shaking. Anything else you choose to do, any other information you get, that's just gravy on top. Now, and if an earthquake were like that were going to happen, Caltrans has plans in place. Local teams in that affected area would immediately go and assess the damage on highways and bridges. Reporting from Salinas, this is Carl Cook, KION, News Channel 46. All right, thanks so much for that, Carl. Caltrans also tells KION that even if no earthquakes happen, bridges are always inspected every two years.